Hello, everybody, and how are you, lovely sexies, doing today? My name is the Epic Chris. Today, I'm bringing you some Black Ops 2 gameplay on the map, Hijacked. And let me give you the story behind this gameplay because it was actually a really, really fun game to get. <laughs> um, so, me and my friend Burning Eagle 96 wanted to play some domination. So, um, we got into this lobby and we came across these two kids with this UVS clan tag. You'll be able to see who I'm talking about at the end when I um, when I show the scoreboard. You'll be able to see who I'm talking about. And we came across these two guys. They had mics. We had mics. And typically what we do when we come across people with mics is um, we start talking to them. We start tra trying to strike up conversations. And uh, But these guys, we were kind of like teasing them and stuff. You know, they had, uh, I think they were Master Prestigious. I'm not too sure. But um, they were talking and stuff. So we started teasing them like, oh, can we join your clan? We're MLG Pro players. And uh, what does UVS stand for? Are you vagina suckers? And... <laughs> We kept like telling him stuff like that, you know, we we're just teasing around, but um, they took us seriously So when we asked if we could join their clan, they were all like nah, you guys suck You guys actually have bad scores. We check your combat record. You guys blah 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 blah, you know feeding us bullshit and stuff, so We were all like alright, so if you guys or we beat you guys this game will you let you have to let us join your clan so they're like alright, so not this game, but the game before this um, oh, Excuse me, so the game before this we beat them like 200 to like 90 or something in a domination game. <laughs> so at the end, we were all like, so what happened, guys? I thought you said you guys were good. I thought you said you guys, you know, were better than us and we sucked and blah, blah, blah. And they were all like, oh, we were just going for headshots only to kind of rank up our gun camos. And we weren't even trying against you guys and blah, blah, blah and stuff like that. And like, wow, you guys just, <laughs> what a dumbass excuse. We were just like, you guys just actually suck a minute. And they're like, all right, so this game, we're going to go try hard and you'll see that we're better than you guys. And I'm like, all right, bring it on. So um, this is the game where they actually, you know, bunny ears went try hard and um, they ended up did it. We we ended up kicking their asses. I don't know the uh, the score at the end, but um, I did fairly well. They did shitty. They had uh, t terrible KD scores. So um, yeah, we actually beat them, and it was a pretty successful, rewarding gameplay. You know, I really like those gameplays where you like prove someone wrong and you actually beat the hell out of someone that actually deserves it. So uh, this is one of those games, and I wanted to bring it to you guys. So hopefully you enjoy it. And um, yeah, that's basically it about the the gameplay, guys. Um, I'm sorry I've been posting. I've, I didn't post Philosophical Fridays yesterday, which is horrible because um, I'm actually really committed to that series and I really like it a lot. So I apologize for that. Um, I just been really, really busy with school, and um, it may not see seem that difficult for you. I mean, you might not see. How do I explain it? <laughs> you guys might not see that I have difficulty in school, but um, to be honest, I kind of have hard classes. I have one AP class, I have one honors class, and I have the hardest math that I've ever taken in my life. With uh, It's called pre-cal, pre-calculus, basically. Um, so I have AP World History, I have honors English, and I have pre-calculus. And those classes are really, 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 really hard. Um, you have no idea how, how hard they are. Unless you take them, then you understand. But um, to me, they're really, really difficult. And I have finals this week. So I have I've been studying this these uh, past weeks and we've been reviewing and I they've given us a lot of homework and stuff so it's pretty hard for me to uh, kind of juggle my um, education stuff and my YouTube stuff so I apologize for not posting but um I I actually made a few commentaries pre-made but I didn't get around to posting them I, I guess I was too lazy <laughs> or something but um I think I'm gonna make philosophical Fridays maybe every other week or every week it just depends on how I what I'm doing and um, if I have enough time to do them I'll post them whenever Friday comes and whenever I have time and whatnot so um, yeah I apologize for not posting in a while but um, I have a couple gameplays as I said and I'll be posting those after I make this commentary and I hope uh, yeah hopefully you guys will enjoy them and um, n another use in other news I kind of said that wrong I've stopped reverse boosting yay which is kind of a good thing kind of a bad thing um, the reason why I stopped reverse boosting is basically because, um, well, there's s several factors why I stopped. One of the factors is because I've actually found a way for this game to be fun for me. Um, I basically reverse boosted to kind of have fun for myself. Um, but it hasn't really been working at all, reverse boosting, to be honest. What I usually do when I reverse boost, I go into like a gun game or like a free for all, and I just, um, I'm AFK for the rest of the game. So they could just kill me all they want, and I, my stats could go down. That's basically what I do. But um, I haven't really got, had time to do all that um, reverse boosting stuff because it actually takes a long time. If you want to do it like 
the safest and the smartest way possible, you have to do it in a free for all or gun game. But um, I actually haven't have time to do that. Like I just got in, I just get into games now, and I just I just go, I just do whatever the hell I want. I go around rushing and stuff, and I end up ha having fun. I go with, I usually play with like uh, shotguns or like sniper rifles, and I actually had pretty fun games just playing. I haven't really got like good gameplays, like you know, 60s and 70 ga plus gameplays. I haven't actually got to those yet, so um, that kind of sucks. But I've been actually had fun, you know, playing. I I've gone into ground war games with unsilenced weapons, and I just go balls out, you know. I I rush and I. And it's actually been pretty fun for me. Unfortunately, I haven't been able to get like good gameplays, like 70 plus, as I said before. And um, but I just haven't got around to reverse boosting. And in reality, reverse boosting doesn't even help. It doesn't help at all. I have 180 score per minute, and I still go against people with like 300, 400 score per minute. So it doesn't even actually help. Um, so uh, I think reverse boosting never even actually worked because well, actually, it did work because I actually got into a few lobbies where I played against totally horrible players and it was just uh, I had fun games with them but unfortunately that's not the case anymore people actually are good now and um, I haven't been able to play against you know good players I mean bad players so that's kinda why I, I stopped reverse boosting I'm not really gonna do it anymore I actually had some good game plays where I, I haven't uh, where I stopped reverse boosting I think it's all about luck like if you get into a good lobby or a bad lobby I think that's that determines whether you do well or not because I don't really think it's that you're good. <laughs> no, don't get me wrong. There's some commentators, some gameplay people out there that are actually good and they can handle like whatever people they could play. They they can handle whatever, which I really admire. And those are typically the the funnest games to play or to watch. And um, there's some players out there, but for me, I typically have to play against bad people in order to do well. And um, it, it's kind of unfortunate. I'm not really a good player, as I said before. I'm not the best player in the world, so um, I typically I typically like playing against bad people, because that's what Call of Duty is all about. I mean, if if Treyarch implemented, you know, competition in this game, that is incredibly stupid. As I said in my, well, you guys will see the game, um, the commentary that I made, pre-made already. I talked about the shitty things in um, this game and stuff, yeah, and then uh, I talked about skill-based matchmaking and whatnot. But um, I don't know why Infinite uh, Treyarch wanted to make skill-based matchmaking and competition in this game which it's it's it entirely stupid call of duty is not competition competition that is not call of duty that does not equal call of duty it's all about beasting upon noobs i said that so many times and it's the truth i mean why would we want to play against people our own skill level and have a difficult time trying to get gameplays and stuff like that i knew i know uh, one commentator a couple commentators who are done with black ops 2 i don't know if it's because um, they're tired of the game, they're bored of the game, or they just can't, you know, get those gameplays anymore. I know, um, let me just give a, a name, um, I Black Smurf. he actually stopped, he, or he said that he was going to stop posting Black Ops 2 gameplay, which is kind of unfortunate, but um, I agree with him, and a lot, he, he has to deal with bullshit, and I have to deal with bullshit every time I play this game. It's a really, really frustrating game. I mean, if you, okay, if you guys ever have a good game, if you guys have good gameplays every single game and you get good games, like 70 pluses, 80 pluses, 100 pluses, then you guys, well, that's not for everybody else. I mean, I would say at least 90% of the people who play Call of Duty or Black Ops 2 do not typically do well, like 80 pluses or 70 pluses or 90 pluses and 100 pluses and whatever. I, I, I highly don't think that they do well um, I'm pretty sure that they just they go the same scores that I go you know I have to bust my ass most of the games trying to actually win the damn game because after like the first like three minutes I realized that we're going against total tryhards and you know what we can I can't get my kill streaks anymore I can't really do well so the only thing left to do is to play the objective and win the game for like the whole entire team which is not really fun for me to be honest I mean I like playing the objective I'm a very very objective based player but that's not all I want to do. I kind of want to, you know, slay and stuff, be a slayer and go around beasting upon, upon players and stuff like that. So it's kind of, not, you know, not fun anymore. I'm not saying I'm going to quit Black Ops 2 because I'm going to find ways where I have fun and I'm going to bring those things to you guys. Hopefully I can just entertain you with my commentary. That's kind of what I want to base my channel upon now is like just commentary because I don't know, just Black Ops 2, it's not my um, my cup of tea, I guess, anymore. It's not... 
it's not easy for me as I was in a couple of other times. So um, I think I'm just going to be commentary wise. But um, that's the end of the gameplay, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, please share the video. And as always, thanks for watching, guys. Laters.